Now we shall give you a short overview of the test object's structure. To open the test object window in Quick CMC, click on the test object button. On the left side, you can see several blocks. The two main blocks are Custom and Rio. The Custom block allows you to create individualized blocks and parameters that you can customize freely. Rio stands for Relay Interface by Omicron and offers you a standardized format for modeling devices. The Rio block will always include a device block and maybe further blocks like distance or overcurrent, depending on the test module you are working with. The device block contains general information about the protection device, such as name, type, manufacturer, and a number of preset general parameters, such as nominal values, residual factors, or limits. In summary, it identifies the test object. Double-click on Device Block. You will see that the window is split into different sections. In the Device section, enter all the important information that is useful to identify your device. This information will appear in the test reports. Describe the location of the device in the substation and bay sections. In the section of the window, you can set the nominal values of your power system network, including primary and secondary values for voltage and current and the frequency of the network. The test modules will use these values for calculation. The residual voltage and current factors section is only relevant if your relay has separate inputs for the residual voltage or current. Here, you can set the residual ratio in relation to the single phase ratio. An open delta connection has been taken by default, resulting in factors of the root of 3 for the residual voltage and 1 for the residual current. The limit section allows you to set a maximum voltage and current that must not be exceeded when testing the test object. These values are used by all test modules. The debounce and deglitch filters section allows you to set a filter on the binary inputs for bouncing contacts or to eliminate unwanted glitches in a noisy environment. The overload detection sensitivity section might be changed when you test high burden electromechanical relays. You can get more information on the device settings by using the context sensitive help. Click on the context sensitive help button in the menu bar. Then click on the feature for which you need more information. The Omicron help system will display the exact information you need. Finally, the file menu contains the export and import commands. You can use them to save the test object settings for reuse with a similar test object or for reuse within a different test module.